Mm. You guys. Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison. I hope you're doing so, so well today, hunty. Yes, yes, ma'am. Today, we are making one of my favorite foods of all time, breakfast tacos. I love breakfast tacos. Do you guys love breakfast tacos? Let me tell you something. I'm from Austin, Texas, and breakfast tacos are like a big freaking deal here. Like tacos in general, but like breakfast tacos, especially here in Austin, Texas. And today we are going to make vegan breakfast tacos. Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. Before I went vegan, one of my favorite foods was potato, egg, and cheese tacos, and I'm going to recreate that vegan style today, and I'm so excited because, like I said, it literally is one of my favorite foods ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. So we are going to be making our egg scramble with tofu today. So I just turned on my skillet, and I got this product, you guys, at Walmart. Okay. When I was <laughs> growing up, I have these vivid memories of my mom and my grandma like cutting slabs of butter and like throwing them into the pan before they like um, fried an egg or made scramble or whatever. So, you know, I, I, I cook my tofu scrambles with butter, like vegan butter, obviously. But um, I found this product at Walmart. Dude, Walmart is killing it with the vegan products, you guys. Get on board with Walmart, yes. Okay, anyways, this is from Nutiva Nature Vitality. This is organic coconut oil with non-dairy butter flavor. And um, it's certified vegan, so that's awesome. Hell yeah. So we are going to put this into the pan, yes. Okay, where's my spoon? Here we go. All right. We're just gonna let that melt in there and get all melty melty. You guys, my skillet wasn't even on. <laughs> Hello. It's no working. You guys, <laughs> I guess the gas like immediately ran out. So let me change this real quick. Did I get it? No. There we go. Okay. So now that's starting to heat up. Okay. I've never used this stuff before. It smells like butter though. That's so awesome. Okay. Okay, so first into the pan, shocker, I have two kinds of onions. We're gonna use half of a white onion. Well, that's like a fourth of an onion, but half of the bowl of the onion that I brought and some red onion. And we're gonna saute that up for just a few minutes. Usually you would wait until your onions are translucent and not undercooked, but if you know anything about me, I love the taste of onion, so I don't care that they're undercooked. So now I'm gonna add some jalapeno, garlic, and this is some orange bell pepper that I'm gonna add into there. Yum! So we're just gonna let that cook down for just a little bit. And normally I would add some vegan chorizo. Jesus, kids! They, they run around my house like, maniacs i swear but we're just gonna stick with these little bit of veggies and um the tofu and the spices mm. so now that that's cooked down a little bit let's add our tofu i have my tofu here this is a block of firm tofu that i've pressed for like an hour or something um and drained the water out of and we're just gonna crumble it into the pan it's like these and you don't have to crumble it too small. You can leave some big chunks in there if you want, or you can crumble it up really fine, whatever you prefer. Okay, now we're gonna add some seasonings to the tofu to make it like best replicate eggs. Let me mix this up a little bit. Turn it down so it doesn't burn. Okay. First thing we're gonna add is some turmeric. Um, maybe about a teaspoon or so of turmeric, and I like to add this in first to make sure it gets enough cooking time to really, you know, you know, cook out the really strong taste of turmeric, if that makes sense, I don't know. But you wanna put some turmeric in there because that's gonna give it the yellow color of eggs, okay? I hope I didn't put too much, we'll see. And next we are going to add some nutritional yeast. This is gonna give it like a cheesy, deep flavor to it. It's so good, just trust me on this. You wanna add some nutritional yeast, yum. 
Okay, so I stirred that all in, and do you see how it looks yellow, like the color rigs? Yes. And now it's time for the star of the show. This is a very, very important ingredient, and I'm gonna link it below on Amazon if you can't find it in your store. But this is black salt, and black salt is sulfuric, okay? And so you know how eggs are sulfuric as well. You wanna add this to your tofu scramble to give your um, scramble a sulfuric taste. To it just like eggs right am i making sense i think i am who knows <laughs> okay so i just added a sprinkle in there and we're gonna stir it in i'm just gonna continue cooking it for just a little while longer because again i want to really make sure that the turmeric flavor is not strong because number one you really do want to go easy on your turmeric and number two if you don't cook it long enough all you're gonna taste is turmeric but if you cook it long enough you're good to go you can't even tell so I'm gonna turn off the pan, and then we are gonna add some cheese right away, because what do I always say? You gotta put your vegan cheese on your food when the food is really, really hot, because vegan cheese takes forever to melt. Okay, this is the Dea block cheese in cheddar style that I use for my carne asada fries. If you haven't seen that video, go and get you some, okay? and I'm going to put that on here. You guys, this probably only applies to people in the Southwest, but do y'all have, do y'all know what migas is? Um, my mom used to make me migas growing up all the time. They are scrambled eggs with like peppers, tomatoes, onions, um, tossed inside them and um, crunched up tortilla chips. <laughs> That's what my mom used to make me all the time. They were my favorite because you would get the crunch from the tortilla strips. Oh, it was so good. So we're gonna let that melt down for a second and let me move some things around and I'll be right back. So I warmed up some tortillas. I'm gonna take out three. Here we go, oh my goodness, they're so warm. And here are the potatoes that I made. These are the same potatoes from my Taco Bell video if you wanna know how I made those, go over there. Mm-hmm, okay. Okay. So let's make three tacos. Okay, so I'm gonna put some potatoes on the bottom. Mm. Now we're gonna add some of the tofu scramble. Oh, baby. It's gonna fall all over the place. I'm going to, of course, put some onion on there. <laughs> it smells so good, you guys. You don't even know. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Scoot you over. Okay. And then what else do we need? We need avocado. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I love you. Avocado, I love you so much. Slice on there and a slice on there. Okay. Tell me these do not look amazing. And then I might use some of this. This is from El Yucateca. This is their chili habanero salsa um, or hot sauce. But I don't know how spicy the jalapenos are going to be. So we'll see. Mm, I'm so excited. Okay, let's dig in. Look at this, you guys. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. 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 Oh my God, you guys. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Whoa. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. This is one of the best ones I've made in a long time. Mm. Wow. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Look at all this hot sauce I put on there. Look at this. That's going to burn. But here we go. Mmm. You guys, wow.
Oh, that's spicy. I hope you guys try this recipe because it is freaking bomb. I'm not even kidding at all, at all, at all. Yum. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. <laughs> this is so freaking delicious. I wish you guys were here to have some. But okay, before I forget, I need to give a shout out to you, Matt Johnson. Thank you so much for being so nice in the comment sections of my videos. So you are the shout out of the day, boy, yes. And if you want a shout out, let me know in the comments below and why, if you want. <coughs> if you just want a shout out, just holla at me, okay? I'll get you a shout out, boo. Mm. You guys. Mm. Um. Okay. I was gonna. I was thinking in my head. I was like, I want to shout out another mukbanger, but I don't know who to shout out. Excuse me. I almost choked. <laughs> Let me finish chewing. I want to shout out. Snoopy Eats. What up, boy? How you doing, Snoopy? Go follow Snoopy Eats' channel. I'm going to link it right here. He is a mukbanger, and he does tons of lives, so go follow him. He just commented on one of my videos, and I just saw his comment pop up. So, hey, what's up? How you doing, Snoopy? So what I was going to say earlier is... This weekend, I'm going to a um, renaissance festival, and I'm so excited. It's a renaissance festival out in the middle of nowhere. And it's this place, it's this forest in the middle of the country. And they have like this Renaissance Festival every year and it's this huge deal and it's so much fun. If you've ever been to a Renaissance Festival, you know what it's about. It's like the same, it's like the same thing everywhere pretty much. But these people camp out and they dress up in medieval times and fairies and goblins and it's so, so much fun. I cannot wait. And what's super cool is they have a vegan stand where they sell like vegan, like Renaissance foods. Like they have vegan turkey legs and vegan, oh gosh. Why can't I remember? Like vegan um, meat pies or something. It's really cool, but I'm so excited we're gonna go this weekend. So I'll try to get some some pictures to show you guys. Okay, now let's eat this last one. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Man, I was hungry. Sorry, I don't have much to say. These are just so good. I really hope you guys try these. They're amazing. Okay, well that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please give this recipe a try. I promise you won't even miss the taste of eggs. And if you do, let me know how you like it. And if you wanna be shouted out again in my next video, leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will see you later, bye.